Okay, let's doodle our hippo. So our cute little hippo, we're going to start off with the top of his head, which is a curved shape like this. This is a nice, simple hippo. Then we'll do some ears. So we'll just go up and a curve at the top and round, up, curve at the top and round. Now we're going to do the hippo's mouth. So we're going to start off by doing some little curves where the nostrils are. So we do a curve, then a curved line, and then another curve. And then we're going to do a circle shape. So we'll go round, round, round. Oops, it wobbled a little bit there. Wobble, wobbled. There we go. So if we join those up to the circle and put our nostrils in, which is just a circle in each little hole. And then we'll do a smile like this because we're going to put the hippo teeth. So do a nice curved line with two teeth sticking out. They've got very big teeth, hippos. So square there and a square there. And let's do some little eyes. So a circle and a circle. And then we do our pupils. There we go. And we put some little inserts to his ears like this. Okay. On to who? The body. So we're just going to do a very simple shape for the body, which is a curved shape. So round, tummy, round and back up. There we go. Let's do some simple arms. So we'll start off here and we'll go in a curved shape like that. So just like that. Same on the other side. Curve and round and for his little feet we're going to go straight down curve and back up straight down curve and back up we're going to put some little shapes on his feet like this and like this There we go. Let's get our grey pencil and just shade him in. Hippos are actually very, very dangerous animals. Even though this fella looks very cute, their teeth are very, very sharp and they can be very aggressive. Colour. This one though, this one looks super super cute. Let's colour the nostrils in darker so you just press a little bit harder on your pencil. So when you want to shade, you just shade lightly with the side of your pencil. It also means you can colour a lot faster when you do lighter. Then you can always add some more, some more sort of details with your colouring by going dark around the outside like this. Or if you want it to make him look like he's got a round tummy, you could do like a round shading there. Let's do some legs. Like this. Make that into a round colour. Now you sort of see he's got a round tummy now. <laughs> Let's just colour in the 
shapes on the feet and hands a little bit darker. Like that, and you can add some rosy cheeks if you want to. A little bit of pink on their ears. And there we have our very cute little hippo.